songs have been written about it. Self-help books have been published about it. And now Harvard has a class teaching students the basics of being happy. It's one of many similar classes taught at more than 100 universities in the United States. And lecturer Dr. Tal Ben-Shahar is in charge of the one at Harvard. Dr. Ben-Shahar, great to have you. I just want to get your observation on this. I mean, what does that tell you when Ivy League students are so interested and want to know what it takes to be happy? Um, what it tells me is that there are uh, human beings. We all want to be happy. But why is it so difficult, you know, and why teach it at the highest levels of education? Um, it is so difficult for, for various reasons. One of the reasons is that in our culture there is so much pressure on people to, to be happy, to feel good, um, that if we don't feel happy, if we don't feel good, we think there is something wrong with us. Mm -hmm. And this pressure to always feel good actually is uh, counterproductive. Because you, so, you say that happiness really is an act of will. I mean, you need to be conscious of it. It's something to work towards yes, uh, and that there are steps to be taken. Yes, absolutely. Um, and the steps to, to be taken are internal rather than external. Uh, there's a lot of misconception about happiness, thinking that if we get to a certain place, if we achieve something, then we'll be happy. But mm -hmm. happiness is much more contingent on our state of mind rather than our status or the state of our bank account. Mm -hmm. Because you, you talk about really simple things, you know, like to, to simplify your life, to experience mm -hmm. gratitude on a daily basis, to know what you have rather than what you don't have. Yeah, happiness, uh, I mean, a lot of common sense um, ideas, but unfortunately common sense is not that common when it comes to application. Mm -hmm. uh, so for instance, uh, appreciating the positive things in our lives right. and appreciating in two, in two senses. One, to appreciate and to say thank you for them, mm -hmm. not to take them for granted. And two, when we appreciate the positive, it also grows, appreciating the second sense of the word. Mm -hmm. Because um, it's part of just being human. I mean, to accept in this very competitive world that we are just human is difficult to do. And, you know, I see it even in my toddler daughter. She, you know, sometimes I'm worried that she's afraid to make a mistake. You know, she wants to be a pleaser. And when she pleases, that makes her happy. But, you know, I could see how this could be a weird pattern in life. Yes, that's right. And I think we can actually learn a lot from children. Um, the way children learn how to walk is by falling. One of the main ideas that I repeat over and over again for myself and my students is learn to fail or fail to learn. Mm -hmm. You see, it is no coincidence that the most successful people throughout history have also been the people who have failed the most. Mm -hmm. And yet our culture looks down on failure so, instead of looking at it as a, as a learning opportunity. Yeah, as a step forward. Um, so exactly. what makes you happy? My family, first and foremost, so, um, uh -huh. and uh, yeah, and okay. and to focus on on the positive things in life. Because um, you know, there's this backstory about you. You love teaching. I mean, but you're not you're not in that competitive envelope at Harvard. You're not striving for tenure. You're actually very. You know yourself well enough to know what really makes you happy. Uh, yes. Well, I've been studying it for for a few years, and uh, one of the things that that I teach my students is um, to, to, to practice what they preach and this is what I try to do. My passion is teaching. Uh, I'm more of a consumer of research rather than a producer uh -huh. and, um, and, and this is what I do. All right, Dr. Ben Shahar, I bet your parents, uh, your parents, listen, that was a Freudian slip. Your students are going to really benefit <laughs> from your course. Thanks so much. I hope so. Thank you.